A pap smear is a test that checks for precancerous cells on the cervix to try to prevent women from getting cervical cancer. Um, pap smears are, are collected by putting a speculum in the vagina. Now, this is an example of a speculum. And so this goes in the vagina like this, and the doctor can then open it up, and that gives access to the cervix. Once the speculum's placed, then a brush can be placed, and they come in different shapes and sizes. So they can kind of look like uh, this is one type of brush, and this is what's called a spatula, and this is called a broom. And if this is a cervix, this can be placed against the cervix, and this is what's done against the cervix. You can see these are soft. This is then placed in solution, and that's sent to the lab, where they make slides out of this, and they look at the cells that have been collected from the cervix to see if there's any abnormal cells. Now, the pap has been around for quite a while, but they've really made a huge difference in uh, cervical cancer. And, in fact, in the United States, pap, uh, cervical cancer used to be the leading cause of cancer deaths in women in the United States uh, prior to the advent of Papanicolaou, or pap smears. Uh, since pap smears, now in the United States, there's only approximately 3,700 new cases of cervical cancer every year. That's an incredibly small amount. And most of those cases are patients that are either recent immigrants from the United States, so they haven't been getting pap smears, or people that haven't had pap smears for a very long time. So if you're someone that comes in and gets your pap smear regularly, it's extremely unlikely that you'll develop a cervical cancer. And that's why the pap smear screening has been um, such an amazing screening test. It's really made a huge difference in what used to be this terrible type of cancer. And now it's actually very rare to see women with this. Pap smears really look for abnormal cells. Um, and the pap smear, when it comes back, it doesn't just come back plus or minus. There's a whole range. So there can be something called, there can be normal pap smear. There can be something called ascus. There can be something called low-grade abnormality, high-grade abnormality, or there can be a pap smear suspicious for cancer. So this comes with a whole range. And depending on what the pap smear shows will depend on what kind of treatment is necessary. Pap smears don't hurt. Uh, the speculum is a little uncomfortable, but the brush itself on the cervix really shouldn't hurt. They sometimes can cause a little bit of spotting, uh, and so you may have some spotting for a day or two after the pap smear. That's nothing to worry about, and perfectly normal will go away um, fairly quickly. Uh, the pap smear, um, the, the recommendations are evolving for pap smears. For years, we've always told women to get pap smears every year, and most of us still uh, believe that that's a good way to do it. Another way to do it is to add another test called an HPV test to the pap smear. And if that's done and that's negative in a woman with no history of problems in the past, some people think it's then safe for them to get pap smears every three years. The only problem with that is that it's still important for a woman to come in every year to get a full physical exam, including to have her ovaries checked. So you're still going to need a pelvic exam. The only difference is whether or not to collect the pap smear. So some of us believe that it's better to just bring in women every year uh, and do the pap smear with the pelvic exam without running that extra HPV test. But those are both reasonable ways of doing it, and it's something that you want to talk to your doctor about.